forward. Okay. All right, so we are recording. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little rundown on these team calls that we do. We recently moved them from Sunday nights to Tuesday nights to just try to engage with more people and do the times that work for your schedule. Um, so our goal with them is just to connect with the people on our team, whether you are just taking the products um, and getting the wholesale discount or you are running this like a business, like a few of us are, whatever your goal is, we're just basically here to support you and we wanna connect and see your face and answer questions for you. So each week has a theme and we'll try to announce that ahead of time. This week's theme is all about detox. So I'm gonna run through what is detox, how can you get through it and what you should expect. I do have some notes because I, I did my research. So if I'm looking to the sides, just because I'm reading my notes here and making sure I highlight everything for you. But I do like to always start our team calls with just something really simple. I just ask you to tell me something good. Not everyone has to, but I would love to just hear from anybody, like something good from the week. Does not have to be Plexus related, could just be life related, um, something good that you'd love to share, because I just like to start on a positive note. So does anyone have something good they'd like to share? And if you do, just unmute yourself first. Sure, I got sure. 17,000 steps yesterday. That's awesome. Good job, Marlena. Thank you. <laughs> I'm um, muting again. I got to sit in the sunshine for like three hours today. <laughs> oh my word, happened. it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was so nice today. It was, it was beautiful. Gorgeous. George and I just went on a little walk around our little new neighborhood and took a oh. walk through the trails and looked at tadpoles and <laughs> went on a little adventure. So that was fun. So, and I'm almost at 10,000 steps for the day. Nice. Oh, now you didn't have me checking. Okay. <laughs> That's great, Shan. That's awesome. Anybody else? Um, I went for a run yesterday, which was great. Nice. I didn't make it as far as I wanted to, but it's better than zero. And the sun was shining, so that is good. Always a bonus. Yes. Love that. Cool. All right. Anybody else? Good to go? Okay. All right. So let's talk about detox. So detox scares a lot of people. And I think that going into taking your products, understanding detox is really important so you're not freaked out if it happens. Um, so if anyone's watching this who is recently starting their products or had some detox and quit, this is for you. Um, I want you to understand why detox happens. Um, so let me give you a little bit of background. Detox and die off, you might hear both terms. They're the same thing. And they're also referred to as a Herxheimer reaction. Now I've heard that before, but I'm like, let me figure out why it's called that. So there was a physician named Dr. Herxheimer and he first observed this kind of reaction with patients who had syphilis. <laughs> Fun fact, okay. Um, he noticed that when he, so he was treating, this is years and years ago, they started treating patients who had syphilis with mercury, which is an antimicrobial. Obviously terrible for you, but it does kill bacteria. Um, so they noticed when they gave the patients the antimicrobial, initially their symptoms got a lot worse before they started getting better. So that's why this is called the Herxheimer reaction because the same kind of thing happens, not because it's a poisonous substance like mercury, but when you're breaking down stuff, initially you can have some flare up. Um, so this has also been observed in other conditions like Lyme disease and tuberculosis. When you're breaking down like a ton of inflammation or a ton of bacteria, um, all that stuff has to go somewhere and it can cause an inflammatory response. So basically what's happening is the antimicrobial or the antibacterial substance is attacking the harmful bacteria, essentially setting off dynamite. It's like going in there and blowing everything up and causing little particles of the harmful bacteria that's in there to circulate in your bloodstream. So your body's natural response is inflammation to flush out the toxins, right? So initially you have this inflammatory response um, and it doesn't just happen with bacteria, it also happens when we're breaking down candida yeast. And you may have heard of candida yeast, um, there's something called yeast overgrowth that is present in at least 30% of the population. And this can manifest itself as skin problems like eczema, acne, psoriasis, um, GI issues, chronic illness, autoimmune problems, and you can probably relate to something on that list. Um, that kind of the root cause of a lot of those things is this candida yeast overgrowth. So when you break down the candida, it dies off just like the bacteria and Lyme disease when it's treated with an antibiotic 
or the bacteria that was going on with these patients with syphilis. And it can make you feel really yucky as it's dying off and working its way out of your system. The good news is that you have a liver and hopefully it's healthy enough to flush out toxins and it's gonna leave you feeling way better when you get this stuff out of your body than before when you were living with chronic conditions that were fueled by this candida yeast. So I don't want you to think that everyone experiences detox. A lot of people start the Plexus products and don't notice any detox at all. Like from day one, they're feeling fantastic. That could be because they just don't have yeast overgrowth or they've been eating really clean. So there's like less inflammation and stuff going on in their bodies. But if you're like a hot mess or you've been eating terrible and you're trying to undo a lot of years of damage, you could potentially have die off symptoms. Um, so some people have none at all. Some people notice one or two symptoms and some people have a whole lot of symptoms. Um, the key is to look for them, to understand your body. And if you are experiencing a lot of detox, to reach back out to your sponsor, the person that, that signed you up and that's helping you with your products to stay in really close communication because the Plexus products are totally modifiable. It's not like a one size fits all. It's not one regimen fits all. We modify as you go and we can go as slow as you need to. There's no need to like jump into every single product all at once because honestly, the detox could be really intense. Um, so I just want to briefly talk. Well, first of all, does anyone have any questions so far? So it was just like a lot of nerdy information. Um, if you do, just jump in. Um, but if not, I'm going to talk briefly about the Triplex products because this is how a lot of people start and um, it can cause some detox and I'll, I'll tell you why. So the first product, um, Slim, the pink drink, this is what I recommend that everyone start with. If you're doing Triplex, before you jump into everything, just start with Slim for at least two or three days because it does have some prebiotics for gut health and it helps you build up the good bacteria that's already there. Okay, so the Slim, the BioCleanse is awesome for detox because it has magnesium, which almost 90% of the population is magnesium deficient. So when you feel your body with a mineral that you need, you can start feeling a lot better. It's also got a ton of vitamin C. So antioxidants like vitamin C are really essential to cleansing and pulling the junk out. Um, so this has a ton of vitamin C and also fruit peel extracts, um, which are also a great source of antioxidants. So the BioCleanse is the second product I have people add in. So you start with Slim, a couple of days. If you're feeling good, you add in BioCleanse. You can take up to four a day, but I recommend that people start with just one. See how you feel, add in another. You can work up to four, but it's totally modifiable. So you might not need four. I take one a day. I have other people that take four a day. The key with this is just to get you going to the bathroom regularly. And regular is at least once a day. For most people, it's two or three times a day. And that might blow your mind if you're not someone who goes to the bathroom regularly, but that is like, no, nope. okay. That is so key to getting through detox because if you are not flushing toxins out, they're sitting in your intestines, baking at 98 degrees. Like if that doesn't gross you out, right, that is gross. But essentially like it's like a low heat oven cooking all this gunk. So you have got to get regular before you add in ProBio5. So I want everyone, there's so much potty talk in this business, it's not even funny, but I want everyone going to the bathroom regularly at least once a day before they add in a lot of ProBio5 because we want to be making sure you're pulling the gunk out of your system. Once you're regular, you've added in Slim and BioCleanse and you're feeling good, then you can add in ProBio5. And what's so magical about ProBio5 is it's not just probiotic, which it has fantastic strains of probiotic that are freeze dried so they don't break down until they hit your gut, top shelf probiotic, but it also has um, an antifungal, anti-yeast in it called, I want to read it so I don't get it wrong, I want to say chitinase. Kytosinase, there we go. Um, so that breaks down the yeast that causes the inflammation and the chronic illness and all the problems I mentioned before. It breaks it down. So this is what is gonna cause the die off symptoms if you're gonna have them. It's the ProBio5, but it's absolutely essential. It's super powerful. It also has digestive enzymes in it. So it's gonna help you with digestion and kind of flushing things, moving things through your GI system. Some of the die off symptoms um, that you could experience are probably going to be more related to gut stuff since we're really working on the bacteria in your gut. So it could be some bloating, could be some diarrhea, could be some constipation. That's less common, but that happens too. 
Um, a lot of people who are experiencing die off will have a skin reaction. So I know Shannon had like some weird, like itchy red bumps for a few days. I'm like, it's die off. You're fine. Like drink your water. Um, I, my personal, when I started all this, my personal story was that I got a rash behind my ear, like a big circle rash, kind of like a boil. And that was the yeast coming out of my body. I don't know, super weird, but that's what I had. Um, so some itchy skin or something like that. You could get some headaches. Um, you could just kind of feel low energy, and that's pretty common too, like just lethargy or fatigue. Um, and some people even gain a few pounds initially because they just have that bloating going on. And then once they get regular and everything, it, it works itself out, and then the weight loss starts. So initially, kind of to wrap this up, your immune system kicks up an inflammatory response as those toxins are storming through your body. And then you pull them out, you flush them out, and you end up feeling so much better on the other side. Um, you may have also experienced something like this if you started a new diet, like if you were eating terrible and you like cut out coffee, cut out sugar, cut out carbs, you can go through die off as well because all the junk that was fueling the bacteria and the yeast, you're not giving it. So those break down as well and you can get similar reactions. So you may have already experienced something like this in your life. It's not unmanageable. It's not anything that's going to you know, put you in bed for a week. If your symptoms are that severe, you need to back off your products even more and start with maybe a half a slim and a bio cleanse every other day or something like that. So just stay connected with the person um, who got you started with Plexus. So I wanna just give you a few tips to support your body as you go through detox and start your products. The first thing is water, 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 water. You wanna be drinking half your body weight in ounces of water or more. So if you weigh 200 pounds, that's 100 ounces of water. Okay, so just do the quick math, see how much water you need, and you've got to get that water in because it's essential to flushing toxins out of your body. Um, also, eating warm, pre-digested foods. For example, heat makes food easier to digest. So choosing cooked foods over raw foods as you're going through detox can be helpful. Um, also, cultured foods, so things like kombucha and sauerkraut and like fermented foods yogurt um, can support your body and um, soothe away inflammation. They're good at metabolizing waste. Um, again, the bio cleanse is great during detox because it's got the antioxidants um, and it promotes going to the bathroom because constipation is gonna make detox worse. Um, also focus on antioxidants and liver support. Your liver tra um, transforms waste so that it can be eliminated. And antioxidants are damage control. They sweep up the mess before it snowballs into all the free radicals, damage, and inflammation. Um, cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, arugula, watercress are also high in antioxidants. Um, and then, of course, the BioCleanse and also our X Factor products have a ton of an antioxidants as well. Um, avoid sweet foods. Um, as they will feed the bacteria. So avoid sugar, um, try to use stevia as a sweetener or a little bit of honey, um, but stay away from sugar as much as you can during this process. Um, it's good to work up a sweat. It helps drain and, and move things through. It helps stimulate the lymphatic system. Um, just keep it simple and gentle. This is not the time to like start marathon training. Um, you just wanna work up a sweat. Um, deep breathing and yoga is great because it increases oxygen into your cells and again stimulates the lymphatic system to move junk through. Um, also things to support your liver, there's a supplement called milk thistle. It's not something that Plexus sells, but it's something you can pick up at like the health food store. That helps support liver detox. So if you have liver issues and you think that taking these products is going to be tough on your liver at first, you might want to add that in. Um, also activated charcoal is great for um, flushing toxins out of your body, and Epsom salt baths um, are great for decreasing inflammation, especially if your detox has like some joint pain going on um, or discomfort, fatigue, an Epsom salt bath can be a great way to naturally support the detox process. Okay, let me make sure I've got everything. Also, um, you wanna just go slow with your products. So if you don't have, if you're on Triplex and you don't have the chart on how to start slowly, make sure you reach out um, to me or someone else on this call, and we can send you the schedule of how to start with Slim, then add in the BioCleanse, then add in ProBio5. If you're on totally separate products from what I mentioned, still reach out to the person who um, got you started because we want to make sure that you ease into them 
and um, have the best results possible. The key is to stick with it. Consistency is everything with the Plexus products. If you give up three days in because you're having headaches, you are not gonna get the results that you could potentially get. So I just wanna encourage you to stick with it, like give it 60, 90 days of consistent use before you make your judgment call on whether this is working for you or not. And my rule of thumb is that give it one month for every year of damage that you've done. So if you say, okay, I've probably done 10 years of damage to my body of eating terrible, not drinking my water, filling myself with toxins. If you've done 10 years of damage, give yourself 10 months to see the full benefits. I've been taking Plexus for over a year, coming up on like a year and a half, and I feel like I keep getting additional benefits. Like at first it was just better energy, then my skin cleared up, then my thyroid stabilized and just kind of kept coming. So stick with it, consistency is key. And you wanna celebrate detox because it's really great that you're doing something for yourself to get rid of all this junk going on your body. So celebrate it, reach out for support, don't give up, stay consistent. Those are my takeaways. Hopefully that's good information. Does anyone have any questions? I don't wanna keep you on all night. No? I was just like super thorough. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, I hope this was helpful. Again, if you're watching the recording, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are having our team calls every Tuesday, 8 p.m., new theme every week. Um, so if you wanna hop back on, it's always the same link. So put it in your schedule or on your phone so you can remember, and we'll shoot you out what the topic's gonna be for next week. Okay? All right, Thank hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks, Bye. Brett. Thank Bye. Bye. Thanks, Brett.